Hi Scorpios, welcome back to our Enigma Scorpio channel. This is Enigma. Let's do your read here for all those on Moon Rising and Venus signs, or Mercury signs, and Scorpio dealing with. Well, let's see the messages for you, Scorpio. Let's see what are the messages for you for this month of June, first week, and the second week. Okay, I'm gonna cover that. But first, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and comment in the end so that we stick around for more exciting stuff to come on. Do check out my Instagram for free June horoscopes coming up, other offers that you sh you would not want to miss, and this is a general reading, so take whatever resonates and leave what doesn't resonate. For more personals, reach out on WhatsApp, Instagram, and email. Also, do my prayer spells, and we have intention jars and intention crystals. And also Scorpio. I have my main channel that is I Enigma, where I do Scorpio and other signs read. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment over there as well. Stay in touch with me for more stuff. Let's see what are the messages for you. Scorpio, what do you need to know? Two of Swords. Three of Cups. There is a situation here. Your person has two people that they're confused between, or you have two people that you're confused between. Um six of wands and the knight of wands i feel there's someone that is feeling immense attraction towards you but there is a choice that they need to make maybe before you they met someone and then they met you and they haven't really given anyone a relationship offer nothing it's just that you know they had two options coming in front and the moment they saw you, they met you, they want to make a move towards you, but there's still somewhere a part of them is not able to make a correct decision. Uh, King of Swords and the Temperance. Yes, this person is stuck. They don't know what is right, what is not right. They may have gone through a bad path, so it is difficult for them to trust anyone only through appearance okay so they want to give it some time they want to get to know you they want to get to know the other person they want to know what is beyond their appearance what is their heart like what is their character like you know both of you so yeah this person is very unstable right now and you might see them being a little off or a little away okay not making fast movements or you know rash moves because this person is being logical right now libra gemini aquarius and i'm also seeing sagittarius a gemini yeah the four of cups and uh yes that's what i was telling you here okay so what i'm seeing over here is that there's Ten of Swords and the Four of Cups here. What I can see over here is this person has been badly rejected by someone in the recent past or they had to reject this person because of them being cheated. Okay, So it had been a difficult experience for them or they have faced uh, an extreme loss by someone. Okay, They have... Uh, experienced someone's rejection or in their life someone has left them recently so they're in this negative headspace so they are in this grief energy they're still grieving about that loss all they're looking for right now is their wishes dreams to fulfill so you have a person that only listens to their choices that that only goes by their own intuition that does not uh take advices of people okay they are more uh, my way or highway kind of a person they want to live their life based on their own choice so this person definitely wants to get married and they see you as a marriage material they're looking for marriage here you're the dream come true, you're the wish come true, you're the person that they'd want to get married to. Some of you, this is a Pisces, but the problem over here is they're confused. You're not opening up to them, you come off as extremely mysterious, but they haven't yet completely resolved the mystery that you are. They don't know who you are as a person fully, they want to get to know you, okay? And somewhere, I feel, Scorpios, you're having high standards, so you're too guarded, 
and this person is finding it difficult to you know be a part of your regular life or your you know personal life you're too hidden okay you're too hidden not very open here you're not even talking about your personal life so openly so they're conscious right now very conscious so this person is finding alternate ways of exploring about you they might be stalking you okay i'm definitely seeing not might they're definitely stalking you even though your personal information is not very much out there but they're trying their best to find answers about you through their friends because they are taking you too seriously okay they're afraid of you that's also what i can see over here then we have the six of swords and then we have the empress there you go their mother is making things even more difficult because maybe they discussed about you with their mom okay or the family members and they're putting all the negative things in their head or they're just telling them that you may need to stay away from the scorpio because i don't see them being very nice you know or i don't see them being good for you so they may have talked about you to someone but that someone does not like you fully or is putting all the doubts in their head and there's someone that is a family oriented person so they're listening to those opinions okay so someone is definitely making harsh opinion about you to them they're trying to find the courage to move on from you or to move towards you but the thing that i'm seeing over here very clearly is that they are not having the courage to come towards you neither leave you okay both ways they are not finding it easy so they are taking slow steps at a time this person is definitely rich they good they make good money they are wealthy they have a strong stand in their life they have a solid foundation already laid laid this could be a leo but their family members if they have discussed it with them are causing this stagnancy but the, what whatever is good for you is what they will be deciding i feel if this person is good for you they will decide this in your favor and if they're not good for you they will decide against your favor that is how the universe is working in your favor because the karma is going to be served here if this is the one you will get them if this is not the one you won't get them because karma is playing a major role here for some of you this is a libra now this ten of wands this person is finding too difficult to come towards you and commit to you and ask for a relationship over here they're not able to speak out okay or they have been uh brainwashed i would say not severely but yes they have doubts uh sown in their head but they want this relationship but they're not able to express it to you they're very attracted this this hell lot of attraction aries sagittarius leo they want a relationship but something in their mind is causing them a lot of burden a lot of stress and this is making them think day in and day out about what should they do this could be a virgo and then we have this devil which means that they have to listen to the people that they love and then they have to also listen to their heart so they're confused between two things and then we have the star i feel like even if this person stays away from you they will not be able to they will 100% come back to you so give them space don't push them away by going after them by pushing them by showing desperation or too much of concern because what they are about to do is they will be making a move towards you first they will distance themselves from you so that they can have a proper understanding of their feelings towards this could be a virgo or an aquarius but the more they distance themselves or separate themselves from you the more they're falling in love so this is going to make them fall in love with you scorpio pisces cancer energy whew possible this is the one seven of pentacles they'll take a hell lot of time here because we have lot of aces we have three aces total till now 
one ace is left, that is ace of swords. So we have ace of pentacles, we have ace of wands, and we have ace of uh, cups, three aces, which is clarifying that this person is not going to take much time. They know they will take time, but they will know with time they have understood your importance in their life. Eight of Pentacles. I'm seeing them making hard efforts towards you and also convincing their family to accept you. Okay. And they're someone that looks for, you know, un unity. They want unity. They want unity between you and their family. So that is why they're taking along their family's choice as well. For some of you, this is a Sagittarius. But what I can see is this person has been trying so hard to manage both the things and both the parties over here they will beat all the challenges to have you in their life okay but it will take time and patience from your end they're coming towards you but after a long time they will be hesitant finally there is another ace fourth ace there's a confirmation guys this is the one that's coming for you i want one card from oracle so this is an ace of swords they might be hesitating because they've been planning about making a move towards you, but have not been taking action. So they may take action hesitantly, but they are taking action. They have fears. Okay. They have fears. Fear of judgment. Fear of losing their family members. Fear of losing you. Fear that has been nurtured from a long time in the past. I feel like they're not in control of their heart. And so they find it really difficult to fall in and fall out of love. Because their heart is not in control, they know that once they fall in love, there's no going back. So it's difficult for them. You, on the other hand, are their soulmate because what we had is king of pentacles and you are a king of queen of pentacles or vice versa which means this is a clear soulmate connection you guys are meant to be with each other you guys are equally successful you guys are making good money you guys have a solid foundation here or you guys will have in the near future when you guys partnership in any form you will take this offer okay you will take this offer for sure now let's see what is going on in the head for you what do they think about you Okay, we have they want to see whether they are someone that you can feel happy with they want to see whether you want to be with them or not they're not sure about this either they're heavily attracted towards you guys Scorpios you guys are very different from each other very different from each other okay still they want you still they want to see whether you want them for some of you, they left you because of these doubts in their head. And now they're feeling so bad that they want to reignite this passion. They want to come back forever. So they're afraid you might not accept them this time. They're feeling trapped because of their family. See, their family is causing interference here. They're trapped because of their family saying things causing them doubts. Okay. That's what I'm seeing here. What else? There will be a separation. Getting to know each other. You guys might be from different age groups or religion, background, status. But... You guys will deep will have a deep conversation and that conversation will break all the barriers between you guys because they will realize that you're the one. They will realize that you're their soulmate. Even if you guys don't belong to the similar background, it doesn't mean you guys cannot be soulmates. So what they've understood with spending time together after this temporary separation, they've understood you're the one. Okay, and they want to have children with you. They're thinking about this as a long-term thing. I'm seeing pets. I'm seeing cat or I'm seeing three dogs or two dogs. Okay. Someone has. 
they're feeling low. I feel like your person doesn't tell anyone, but they're very lonely inside because they're very loving and caring towards others. But they can't show that to a lot of people because they have to wear a mask. They have to be cold from exterior. That is why the King of Swords energy. But the truth is they're very loving. Okay. This person is honest when it comes to their career when it comes to expressing themselves i feel the reason why this connection will grow because it has that honesty from both the sides not just from them from you as well they like this scorpio very soon they will say these three magical words to you that they're in love with you so get ready for this verbal proposal coming in. It's going to make you so happy and change your life around. Okay, You guys will grow in love because you guys are honest towards each other and you understand their feelings and respect and nurture them. They are tied up because of someone not letting them take their own decisions. They, they have a lot of options but they're more interested in you it's just that they have to break free from these uh, ideas and do what their heart says to them okay when is this going to happen someone is 34 24 or even in 40s or 50s as well big happy changes are coming in because this person is not going to resist for any time long your angels are guiding you through consistent numbers, repeating numbers or feathers. You'll see that way often than before. What is the advice for you? This has been coming lately a lot many times. Your, your prayers, your manifestations are being answered real soon. You will fall in love with this person. I feel they'll see that extraordinary side of you or they are extraordinary and you're going to fall in love with that uniqueness you both are holding in your life. That position because of that uniqueness you guys are twin flames oh my gosh even you guys if you guys are in separation you guys are meant to be together you guys are twins that's for sure that's for sure my gosh that's the heavy heavy intense read this has been one of the most intense read if you feel so don't forget to mention the comment section down below and do like share comment subscribe so that more and more people can get to this read this is amazing they will support you in your career. You might even change your career and up, go towards a bigger, better career with this person. Or they will change and uh, go towards bigger, better career. Because you guys are each other's support system and help each other recognize your voids and work on it. And become super duper successful. What are the signs you can most probably expect, Scorpios? This is too intense. Okay, we have Leo, we have Virgo twice, we have Leo twice, and we have Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Sun or Moon is something that we should first focus on. Tell me more. Scorpio. Do you need to know for your twin flame? Okay. There's a cycle that needs to end. You guys, I feel like there's a cycle that needs to end. Either you are repeating the same old mistake and you know that you need to cut off with that because that is addiction. For some of you, are not letting go of this person because they need space. For some of you, you're not letting go of your past experiences or the past person. So because of this, you may experience a lot of things repeating in your life and not getting towards something new. Okay, so don't push any situation. If something has to flourish, it will flourish. But when you realize that something is not for you, even if this person is for you, you need to cut the ties because if you don't cut, they will never realize what they lost. So six, seven, nine. In the end of the day, the person that you're going to be with is going to show you synchronicities, a lot of synchronicities. You'll see those signs 
often. Okay. So that's the message for your Scorpio short and sweet. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And do stay in touch uh, with more uh, upcoming videos. I'll see you back again. Bye.